Good evening, Wesley Church. This is Pastor Justin. It is Tuesday, March 16th, and I am bringing you tonight's daily devotion. Hey, thanks for being here with me tonight. I'm so glad that you are here. Um, tonight's kind of a special night for us uh, in terms of our daily devo. We're actually going to bring you two daily devos for the price of one. So if you'll hold on to that thought for just a moment, we'll come back to that here in just a minute. But first, I want to just say it's a special night for us because um, we are celebrating, if you will, our one year anniversary of our daily devo series. You know, if you remember back to uh, mid-March of last year, that's when we all first learned of the pandemic and kind of heard that it was coming our way. And so doors all over the country began to close, including the doors of Wesley Church. And we had to learn quickly how to adapt to ministry online. One of the ways that we did that here at Wesley was by offering this series that we called Daily Devos or uh, uh, Devotions, a time when we could gather together even though we were apart. And I am just so incredibly proud of our church for offering this um, wonderful series because it has been an opportunity for us to stay connected um, in a way that is just really kind of unique. I don't know if you've had a chance lately to go back and look through some of those devos, but if you think about it, that's 365 videos minus Sundays, but of course we had worship on Sunday, so those are there as well, um, all or in the course of a year. We've, we've released a devo every single day. We've not missed one. Um, it's something that I'm kind of personally um, proud of, but, but also um, I think it's really a testament to the spirit of this congregation, that we were able to sort of gather together, stay connected, even though we've been apart. I want to personally thank everyone, um, from our pastors and our staff, to the many congregants who have given of their time over the course of the last year to offer up a daily devo. Whether it was one of our daily devos during uh, Lent or Advent, or maybe one that was during um, regular season that, that you came up with and, and uh, delivered from, from the passion in your heart. Um, or maybe it was a song that you shared with us during one of our special music Saturdays. I am so incredibly grateful to you for the time and the effort and uh, just sort of the, um, the spirit with which you brought uh, your message of hope and inspiration to us during this very strange time. Thank you for uh, the compassion you showed by uh, putting a little bit of uh, yourself out there for the world to see. It's really uh, an incredible gift to have received from you, so thank you for that. Um, tonight, I'm going to encourage us to do what we've done all Lent long, um, is to go and get our little candle that we are using to invite the presence of Christ to be amongst us as we do our daily devos. And for me tonight, this is going to have sort of a dual purpose. This is going to be um, not only the presence of Christ amongst us during our time together, but it's also going to be sort of a, a one-year birthday candle, if you will. So happy birthday to our daily devo series. Um, it's really a, a special marker. So let's mark this together by lighting our candles. Set that aside um, and let us let that be the presence of Christ as we gather together. The first of our daily devos tonight is actually going to harken back to that very first daily devo I brought to you on March 16th of last year. Um, I want us to, to turn together, if we can, to um, John chapter 14. It's verse 27, and I'm going to read to you from the New International Version. It says, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives, so do not let your hearts be troubled. and Do not be afraid. Congregation, I share this passage with you again, as I have a few different times throughout this pandemic, because I think it's one we cannot lose sight of. It's so important that we remember these words of Jesus. These words ring true now, just as they did on that very first day of the pandemic. Perhaps it's a bit easier for us to um, maybe not think so much about the prayers that are on our hearts each and every day because things seem a little bit more normal they did, than they did a year ago. Um, things are, are starting to slowly back, open back up again. People are back in school. People are back in work. We're getting our vaccines. Hope is on the horizon. We see life as normal coming back to us. But let us not forget, let us not forget that there are people going through various storms of their own each and every day. You might be going through your own storm today. And yet, Jesus says to you, Jesus says to you, my peace I give to you. Do not let your heart be troubled and don't be afraid. Church, I hope that you have the peace of Christ in your heart tonight. I hope it has been with you this entire pandemic. And if you're feeling afraid tonight, think upon Jesus. He can be your your peace during a troubled time. 
Our second Devo for tonight comes to us from our Lenten devotional that we've been sharing together. It is this wilderness uh, booklet from a sanctified art. You should have a copy of that. If you don't, you still can call the church office and we'd be happy to send you one. That number is on your screen there. I'm going to read to you tonight from page 23. This poem is called, The Wilderness is a Place of Disruption. Let's hear these words together. My grandfather was a good man, but he believed that wilderness emotions were not to be seen. Cry with the door closed. Don't dwell on the negative. Chin up, kid. We've been here before. My grandfather was a good man. But I'd like to say, the wilderness is here to interrupt your previously scheduled programming. Like water in the desert. And setting the slaves free, the wilderness might be the very thing we need, the very thing we dream for, the very thing we plead for. I guess what I'm trying to say is, it never seems appealing to let a bird in the house. But if you do, then you might as well open every window and every door. And if you do, then you might as well just find yourself basking in the light, dancing in the breeze, overwhelmed with the beauty that an open door brings. So tonight I'm opening my door and inviting in the wind to rustle up my heart and start over again. For sweeping the truth under the rug has never gotten us very far, so may the wilderness be like a bird in your house. Throw open your doors. The truth must come out. I thank the um, author of that poem, Sarah Eyre, because, um, wow, what an incredible lesson this poem is for us. To be reminded that it's so easy to let our emotions get bottled up inside of us when we are in times of stress or in times of difficulty, when the wilderness swirls about us, we bottle it up and we deal with what has to be dealt with. And of course, that's a very natural and sometimes necessary response because sometimes there are things to be dealt with in the moment, but it is just as important, if not in some ways more so, to sometimes let the emotions come out, to do so in a healthy way, in a safe way, to find another person with whom you trust that you can share those emotions with, with whom you can process those emotions with. Church, I imagine tonight somewhere out there is someone who is struggling deeply because of this pandemic. Someone who has maybe bottled up their emotions over the last 12 months. Someone who's not really been able to say, you know what, this just stinks. Use the, the colorful expletive of your choice there instead. This sure does stink, and it has been a hard year. And if that's you tonight, if you are struggling to find the words, to find the emotions, go find a friend and have a conversation and let your emotion out in a safe and a healthy way. It will be very good for you, I promise. And God will bless the time that you spend together talking and processing together. If you need someone with whom you can process, I invite you again. Here's the phone number for the church. Give me a call. I'd be happy to be that friend for you. Church, would you pray with me tonight? Gracious and almighty God, I thank you for my brothers and sisters, those who call themselves Wesley Church. God, these people are good people, and they have endured a lot over this last year. Some have lost loved ones to this pandemic. Some have lost jobs to this pandemic. But we've all faced loss of some kind. And wherever we are tonight, I pray that your peace would be upon us. And if we have emotions that have yet to be processed, would you help us to find someone safe with whom we can process them honestly and openly? God, thank you for your son Jesus and his great big love for us. Continue to be with us, to be with our world, to be with the most vulnerable among us as we continue to get vaccinated, as we see hope on the horizon. Lord, we love you and we thank you for being with us even through this last year. It's in Jesus' holy name we pray, amen. Church, have a blessed night. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.